I'm currently on the Sidric site, um, and on the Sidric site is kind of the whole economics faculty, all the economics buildings are held within the Sidric site. Um, these include the Lady Mitchell Hall, where most of your lectures are, the Marshall Library, uh, named after the Economist, um, which is basically, you can find any economics book that you need for your course. Uh, they have multiple copies. Your college library also has, should have multiple copies. Um, and then there's also the, uh, uh, the Citric Lecture Block, where kind of some smaller modules have the lectures, some, some examinations take place there and things like that. So I'm just going to start off by showing you the Marshall Library. Um, to be perfectly honest, I probably won't visit here every week, uh, but many economic students will, so it's definitely worth looking at. Um, and especially at the beginning, when I started, I found this very useful. Um, so this is the library. I won't go in so as not to disturb anyone studying. Um, that's just kind of where uh, you can find any books. There's plenty of workspaces in there. But you don't need to book, you can just turn up uh, and just, you know, sit down somewhere and start working like a normal library. I particularly like they've got this little library book return over here. So even if the library's closed, you can still just post the books through. Um, and I'll also show you uh, over here, uh, if the camera turns around, uh, the Austin Robinson building. I've not heard anyone refer to refer to it by its name before. Um, it's kind of just where... Lots of people, uh, as in all the professors, have their offices there. So a lot of uh, office hours, which are kind of one hour every week, uh, where a professor, or two hours every week, where a professor's like, I'll be in this room. If you have any questions about the lectures, anything you don't understand, you can come and I'll explain it. Um, so you can also always ping them an email. But it's, you know, if there's something you want in person explaining, and, you know, the professors may be not that great at replying to emails, office hours are brilliant for that. Um, and then... Walking over here, we have the now. This should uh, be kind of a part of your everyday life because you know all the lectures are here. And there's two, three hours left of the day. I tend to watch mine online, uh, but normally if you walk here around 8:45, 8:59 a.m., there should be a big bustle of students out here waiting for the doors to be unlocked for the first lecture of the day. Um, I think it's closed, unfortunately, right now. Um, yeah, but inside a brilliant lecture hall, uh, about a hundred and well, it's, it probably seats close to three hundred, I think. Um, and there's, in addition to all of your normal lectures, there's also some very prestigious lectures held in there, um, where they invite speakers to come and talk to students and kind of explain things that they're particularly interested in. Um, so yeah, that's the Lady Mitchell Hall. That might form part of your everyday life should you choose to watch the lectures in person, um, or if they decide to stop recording them. And then the uh, Sidric lecture block. This isn't. I don't think this is used solely by economists, uh, but I know economists do use it a lot. I had lectures there last year that I went to. So once again, if you do certain modules, you might find yourself here as part of your everyday activity. And I think in your second year, your exams are also held in this lecture block. Uh, it's a very tall building, uh, lots of big windows and natural light. So yeah, and that kind of concludes. Um, how the Sidric site plays into my week academically. There's a library which I use, Lady Mitchell Hall for the lectures and Sidric lecture block also for lectures. Um, and then there's the Austin Robinson building where I actually have some supervisions there um, as well.